beautiful souls and welcome to the meditation channel. I am so excited that you're here today. My name is Jacqueline. I'm going to be your guide for self-empowerment and self-discovery. Today we're going to dive into a bit of an unusual topic. Um, look, I know that my channel is mostly to do with spirituality and meditation, but you know, if you think about it, anything can really be spiritual. So I wanted to talk about hair loss. <laughs> I don't know, I just felt like doing this video, so there you go. It's my channel, I can do whatever I want. Is Augustina out? Did I lose my mouse? I have mice, they're out of their cage. Anyway, now before we get into this video, I just want to make a disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, okay? This video is for entertainment purposes only, and I'm really just here to share my experience with hair loss and what I did in order to, you know, keep my hair long, luscious, and strong. Hopefully it'll help somebody out there who's going through something similar. And of course, I'm gonna be really annoying and ask you guys to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, it really does make a difference for us content creators. And I'm gonna be spending a lot more time doing videos this year because, well, I quit my jobs. Yeah, multiple jobs. That's a video for another time. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, kind of like I said before, spirituality really can encompass anything. My mouse is trying to get out of the cage, so I'm just... By the way, where is Augustina? Okay, so spirituality isn't just about meditating, being Zen and all that kind of stuff. Spirituality encompasses basically being human, how we treat our bodies, the way that we think, how we treat each other, how we treat this planet. And so I thought, well, why not talk about this topic? Because feeling good about yourself is really important. Not only that, but it's also really important to know that Yes, there are many ways that you can heal yourself. And I truly believe that healing not just comes from the physical, but also comes from the mental, emotional, and sometimes even spiritual. Now, does that mean that I don't believe in doctors and I'm one of those spiritual people who's just like, you don't need the 3D world. Yes, you do need the 3D world, okay? It is part of the spiritual. We live in a physical body, it is part of it. But there are some things that we can do to assist the healing process and sometimes, no, you don't need to go to a doctor to heal. So let me just tell you about my journey so it'll make a little bit more sense. I started noticing something wrong a few years back. I think it was about five or six years ago. So I would, you know, have a shower, wash my hair, and then you're like big chunks of hair, like more than usual. Losing hair in the shower while you brush your hair is normal, but there was a fair amount. At first I thought, mm, you know, maybe it's just shedding. I don't know, I was making excuses. But then it just did not stop, just did not stop. Even when I would brush my hair, same thing. I would just have so much hair on the brush and I'm like, okay, this isn't normal. Not only that, but I don't know if you guys noticed, I have really, really, really thin hair. I mean, let me see if I can, uh, look at this. I mean, you can't even see it, that's how thin it is. All right, I have European super, super thin, silky hair. <laughs> so when I noticed my hair getting even thinner and just break, I mean, I was just like, okay, we have a problem. It really started to become noticeable though when I would put my hair up in a bun. So I would just like pull my hair up and you can kind of see like here like this, but imagine my entire skull was just, I mean, you could just see my scalp. There was no, there was nothing there. It, it, you know, I just couldn't put my hair up in a bun because you could just see literally my head. Um, and not only that, but my ponytail was like this big. There was just no hair. There was just nothing. And you know, um, I do YouTube videos, I'm an actor, I like to feel good and look good, so it started to affect me. Hair is a big part of our face, you know, and for a lot of women, this is how we feel beautiful, this is how we feel sexy and powerful. And by the way, it's not to say that you need hair to feel beautiful, sexy and powerful. You can be bold, you can have a mohawk, you can have whatever you want on your head to feel empowered. But for me personally, I love long hair. I've always wanted to have long hair. So, you know, it affected my self-esteem a little bit. I am a firm believer that we have the power to heal our bodies. Now, we have heard of plenty of stories of people being able to heal themselves from chronic illnesses, from cancer, uh, I mean, the stories are out there. And personally, I have been able to assist myself in healing, not just through emotional trauma, but definitely through a lot of my physical 
physical uh, issues. So it wasn't too far-fetched for me to think that I would be able to maybe heal my hair. Why not? And when it comes to healing, I really do believe that it's sometimes a matter of emotional, physical, and spiritual. Now, like everyone at first, I uh, freaked out. I freaked out. And I did a little bit of research and obviously just kind of looked for the quick fix. And the thing that I found was actually hair PRP restoration. PRP is actually a medical treatment. So basically what they do is that they take your own blood, they spin your blood in a machine, and it separates the blood with the plasma. The plasma is the gold juice, the gold liquid, and they basically re-inject that plasma back into your skull. So you're looking at at least 10-15 to 10, 15 injections, so if you don't like injections, I do not recommend it. This is also actually used for uh, facials, so there's such a thing called a vampire facial, which is they do the same thing, they do microneedling and they put the plasma on your face, um, but it's also used in the medical field for like injuries and speeding up the recovery process of, um, I believe they do it for like ligament restoration, um, I don't know, but you can go in the internet and figure it out, but it's amazing this stuff. So when it comes to the hair, basically what it does, it restores the hair. It uh, promotes growth. Uh, so your hair basically grows back and it gets thicker and it's healthier. Um, it's, it's really amazing. Now, as amazing as it sounds, there were two things that I found that didn't work for me. Number one, it is incredibly expensive, okay? Like it was, I believe, $900 per session. And in order for you to see any real results, you had to do three sessions over a period of time um, so yeah now did it work yes it did it made a huge difference my hair actually uh, was amazing after the that those treatments but what ended up happening is that the second problem was that this is not a long-term solution. This is actually a temporary solution because you have to go back every six months, four months, whatever, to basically do it all over again in order to maintain the results. So I think that this is definitely great for somebody who has already quite a bit of hair loss like I did and who was, you know, kind of struggling with their self-esteem and was just like, all right, I just need to get some kind of hair back to calm down and, you know, not freak out and find some kind of alternative solution, which, you know, it worked. Okay, so when I looked at the healing aspect of things, what did I do? First and foremost, it's really important to understand why the cause of the hair loss. Now, I'm not just talking about the scientific part of it, but I'm also talking once again about the emotional and the spiritual part of it. Now when you think about the spiritual part of it, hair is actually believed to carry um, memory. It's believed to carry uh, the legacy of your ancestors, blessings and wisdom. On top of that, it is also said that hair absorbs energy. So whether it's lunar energy or whether that's solar energy, so or the energy in the environment that you're in. So it actually, it's kind of like, I don't know what to refer to, like kind of like plus you're plugging into energies and you're absorbing the energy and the information's going through you. It is also said that hair is there to protect your crown chakra. Um, but you know, then again, you think about images of Buddha where he's bald, so I don't know. Most of the time, anyway, when you think about wisdom and power, you know, you have these images of these goddesses and goddess uh, gods that, you know, have long, luscious hair. So it also represents power and strength. In fact, I'm a big fan of Louise Hay, and she actually says that hair represents strength. Now, when you think about it more of an emotional side of things, when we are emotionally stressed or emotionally um, just unbalanced, what ends up happening is that we can carry a lot of stress in our shoulders and our neck, so we tend to tense up, right? And and what ends up happening is that we are blocking the blood flow to our head. And when you think about even the PRP, what we're really doing is we're restoring the cells, we're putting basically plasma back, which is in the blood. Um, so I think that also has something to do with that, the emotional side of it. As far as scientific, well, I mean, these are obvious, but like aging, hereditary. So it's something that is passed down in the family. And of course, um, it could also be hormonal imbalance. So what were the things that I noticed in myself once I did all this research that linked up to 
helping me heal? What were the things that I implemented to transform my hair? Number one, stress. Okay, so when I did my research, I noticed that stress was one of the leading causes of hair loss. Think about your life. Are you stressed? Are you in flight or flight? Flight or flight? Fight or flight? Um, are you overworked? Are you tired? Like, what's going on in your life? And is there a lot of stress? When I look at myself at that time, yeah, I was. I was working multiple jobs. I was living paycheck to paycheck. Um, I was not living in a healthy environment because at the time I didn't have any money. Um, I was just basically in survival mode. And on top of that, my job, I was working door to door. So you can imagine how stressful that was. I was knocking doors and you never know how people react to you. And that obviously caused a lot of stress in my system. Genetics. Um, when you look at your family, your parents, your grandparents, are they bald? Do they lose hair? Do they have thin hair? Now, unfortunately for me, in my family, it's actually the women who lose hair. If I look at my grandmother and my father's aunties, they actually all have hair loss. They have um, bald patches and not all of them, but some of them. So obviously this is in my lineage. Now, this is something that I kind of introduced the spiritual side of things. And this is where I actually do energetic cord cuttings with that connection to my family, because I believe that, you know, it gets programmed and stored in your DNA memory. So I really believe that you can shift that. And so that's something that I do through meditation. I visualize cutting the cords with that specific issue in my family. And I think that kind of helped. Now, this is the obvious one, nutrition. What is your diet like? Is it balanced? Is it healthy? Is it unhealthy? Is there something that's missing from your diet that maybe you need to start introducing if you go on Google? The internet, by the way, is an amazing place. I mean, we live in the era of information, so you can find anything that you need. You literally just Google what foods promote hair growth and you will get a list of foods that you can start introducing into your life. Um, so I did that, but for the most part, my diet was pretty good. I'm vegan. I try to keep myself as healthy as possible, but at that time, because of my lifestyle, lifestyle, because I was very stressed and I was working a lot, I didn't eat as often. So I wasn't obviously eating enough, which obviously was one of the issues there. Affirmations and mindsets. So how do you talk to yourself? Do you sit there and you go, oh my God, I'm going bold. Oh my God, I'm going bold. Oh my God, I'm going bold. <laughs> which I, I was doing that. So knowing what I know when it comes to the work that I do at the time, I started using affirmations. I don't always like the word affirmations. I know that's the mainstream way of saying them, but I like to think of them more as empowering, empowering words. So I would say things like, um, I'm learning how to heal. My hair is growing stronger, stronger every day. I'm figuring out a solution to this problem. Basically, the idea is every time you say something negative around that issue, you need to catch yourself and reprogram it and say something positive and self-empowering. You want to give yourself that energy, that motivation, and that hope to know that you can resolve this problem. All right, this one is going to be a little gross for some of you, but whatever. Um, washing your hair. So we have oils in our hair that basically our hair needs. And when you wash your hair, it basically strips your hair of those oils. So I was the kind of person who would wash my hair every single day. Now I only wash it once a week. Now, does it get dirty? Does it get a little greasy? Yeah, it does. And what I simply do is I put it up in a bun. I do plaits. I get creative, basically. I just don't mess with it because that was one of the main issues that I found with a lot of people with hair loss. So at the end of the day, you know, I wash my hair and I make my hair look nice whenever there's an event or something that I have to go to. But for the most part, whatever. Also, I do actually add certain types of oils to my hair, so I'm feeding my hair. I use coconut oil, hoho, jojoba, hoho bao oil, you can never say it. And apparently castor oil is a big one when it comes to hair growth. Products, what kind of products are you using? What kind of shampoos, conditioners, serums, and all that sort of stuff are you using in your hair? So I did a little bit of research and I found that any type of shampoo and conditioner with biotin in it, in it is great. Now I am gonna put, here, <laughs> I'm gonna put a link in the description box 
below with all of the stuff that I use, okay guys? But once again, you can buy it somewhere else. So the conditioner that I use, this is amazing. Um, it's a big bottle. And what I love about it is that it's actually really cheap and it's vegan and it's environmentally friendly. So I actually buy this at TJ Maxx and it cost me like $9 for the bottle and it lasts forever. Now my shampoo, uh, this one is kind of expensive. It's about, I think it's about $20 a bottle, um, but it is amazing. You only need a little bit. And remember, if you're washing your hair once a week, you only need a little bit and it does still last forever. Um, once again, vegan, cruelty-free, but if this is too expensive for you, then I would recommend that you do a little bit of research and find similar qualities to the shampoo to this one. Now, the other thing that, um, funnily enough, the people that did the PRP recommended me to use this. This is called Minoxidil, and you wanna use a 5% Minoxidil, okay? So, sure, sure. This is the one that I use. So basically it's a it's a topical serum that you I put on every day. I just put it in my scalp and then massaging your scalp also is very good for your hair, stimulating the follicles. And it's also just loving your hair. <laughs> um, but this is something that they recommended. So I just added this to the mix of things. Um, and apparently it's good. And by the way, I use the one for men, not for women. Now, this is probably the most important things that you can add with your hair, things, vitamins. Now, this to me is the key ingredient. This is, you know, if I take this out, uh, my hair starts falling out again. In fact, I've traveled before and I forgot to take my vitamins and within like two weeks or something, I've noticed that my hair started falling out again. So I would say that this is probably these vitamins, this combination of vitamins have been the key ingredient. Once again, the people that did the PRP were gonna give me these tablets that were basically fish oil. And fish oil, the whole point of having fish oil is the omega-3. Me being vegan, I did not wanna take it, especially because I found out that that specific oil comes from shark fins. Now, I don't know if you know anything about what happens to these beautiful creatures, but they cut their fins, they just dump them in the ocean and they drown. And it's absolutely disgusting what we're doing to them. And I just will not, cannot, and will never support this. So I did my own research and I did find vegan options for omega-3. What do you know? There's vegan options for everything. So. Once again, I'll link all of these uh, below. You can do your own research, find. I mean, the ones that I found are pretty affordable and they last for a very long time. So I take two of those a day, biotin. So I take biotin tablets. So I don't just put biotin on my hair, but I also ingest biotin. I take one tablet of that a day. I take magnesium. I've always taken magnesium because I've heard it's really good for you in general. So I just take that anyway, but apparently it does help. I also take liquid iron. So I am not iron deficient. Um, I have had a blood test and I've had and I've been checked even as a vegan, but apparently iron does help with hair growth. So I just decided to add a little bit more of it. And um, I have a, a little drop thing that I take every day and I put it underneath my tongue. The other thing I have is B12 and folate. I can never say it. So once again, I have them in liquid form and I just take a drop underneath the back of uh, the back of my tongue every morning and done. So yeah, honestly, that has made the world of difference. Another important thing that I want to just point out guys is consistency and you know, you need to take these things every day and be consistent if you wanna see a difference. If you're not consistent, then don't even bother because it's probably not gonna work. So it's a commitment really, but at the same time, I'm still saving thousands of dollars. <laughs> You know, so it's up to you what you want to do. The other thing is, how are you treating your hair? You know, are you brushing your hair roughly and not caring? Or are you being gentle? You know, I don't pull the top of the hair. Like I hold the ends and if you have short hair, you just hold the top. You know, you just want to give your hair love, give your body love. It's important how we behave treat ourselves, you know, everything is just linked. So if you're rough, which I used to be, by the way, I didn't care. I was just like, you know, whatever, just not considering, you know, myself really. <laughs> so be gentle, be loving with your body. The other thing is I don't really use hair straighteners, hair curlers, um, and I do blow dry, but you know, like I said, I 
wash my hair maybe once a week. So, you know, even less sometimes. If I don't have to be out in public, I'm a hermit. So if I don't have to be out, who cares? Um, but I try to avoid all of that sort of stuff because of course it damages the hair. So you want to just not do anything to it. And if uh, you dye your hair, for instance, once again, go for the less toxic. Um, there is henna, I think it's henna hair dyes, which is probably the best one for you and it's actually healthy for your hair. So look into alternatives. Well, that's it. <laughs> so I really wanted to do this video because at the end of the day, my goal is to really help people, empower people. And you know, I simply wish that there was somebody out there who gave me these tips. You know, there's a lot of information out there um, that you can find on this. But for me, uh, it took me a long time to get this combination together to find a solution. And ultimately my goal in this video is to hopefully help you and help you resolve your hair loss issues if you have any. By the way, I will link um, a meditation for you to do on hair loss. So either it'll be in the description or I'll probably put something up here for you so that you can click and just find a meditation and do everything that you can internally and emotionally and spiritually to assist the healing and to assist yourself in being the best version of yourself and reprogram the subconscious negative patterns that are are ingrained in our little brain. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful. As always, take care of yourself and that's it, bye. <laughs> Hello, Seekers. If you enjoy my meditations, then you might also be interested in my custom meditations. These are crafted to heal and transform your life. These tailored meditations are designed to unlock the power of your subconscious mind. So if your heart is calling you to do this, then you can go to my website and find out more. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and for being part of the meditation channel. And of course, for taking on the healing journey. Stay blissful.